when I finally went out to Thailand, um, I started sparring again. And at first I was worried that the gym wouldn't approve me because you have to be approved to, to fight um, in a professional fight there. Like if you go there, some noob and you're, you're like, I'm going to go fight pro. Uh, they'll look at you and be like, uh, no, no, you're, you're like, you're not wearing our shorts. So mm-hmm. basically if, if you ask the gym to fight and they say yes, um, but then they tell you don't wear our shorts, <laughs> it means you suck. You shouldn't be fighting and they're going to be betting against you. If you go to fight and you ask them to fight and they're like, oh yeah, we'll set you up with a fight. I'm like, okay. Oh yeah. We got some shorts for you and everything. And I'm like, I remember having this conversation. I was like, uh, can I wear, I have some custom like quad kicker shorts. Can I wear those? Like, no, no, you, if you're fighting for it, you have to wear our, our shorts. Like, Fight. <laughs> so basically they're like, uh, no, we're getting that clout, son. You're, you're wearing the tiger. You're, you're repping tiger Muay Thai. That means they have confidence. You're going to win. Uh-huh. Right. So yeah. they want you, they want their brand on, on your crotch. So yeah, to speak, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they think you're going to lose, then they don't care. They'll tell you, no, just they'll oh, fight at the, the barbecue, fight amateur at the barbecue. Don't fight at the stadium. No. But there were guys who, were delusional there's one guy who was delusional who wanted to fight they turned him down and somehow he fin- finangled the fight at the stadium but of course he didn't he it wasn't under tmt he was training like one day a week at tiger he was like hopping around the gyms mm-hmm. at, at in phuket but he wasn't like officially a a, a camper at at okay. tiger muay thai mm-hmm. um so i guess they denied him but Somehow he ended up finagling a fight uh, with some promoter. And uh, yeah, he had just his regular old gym shorts on. He went in there and just, it was an embarrassment, dude. The dude couldn't, dude didn't know how to check. Like the, the whole fight consisted of him like squeamishly raising his knee on the center line. And then the tie was just smashing his lead leg and he was losing balance every time for five rounds. Mm. It was a joke. It was an embarrassment, man. But uh, so that, that got rid of my, any imposter syndrome I had. I was like, no, I, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. Kickboxing is what my passion is. Um, you know, I'm meant to do this stuff. It's awesome. And I was having a great time. But then I got sick right after the fight and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And it lasted three months after I got home too. 